Hello everyone, my name is Fum and welcome back to my channel. Sorry for not uploading in a while, uh, I've been away for uh, for the holiday so uh, hopefully you forgive me uh, and uh, just enjoy the video. Now if I were to ask you to name the most hated YouTuber or the most hated YouTube channel, one of the first channels to be mentioned would probably be BuzzFeed along with like the Paul Brothers or whatever. Now BuzzFeed would probably be early mentioned because there have been countless amount of YouTubers who have made videos about BuzzFeed or people who have talked about BuzzFeed just in general. Especially in the commentary community there has been a lot of people who have made videos about BuzzFeed. And when a lot of YouTubers are trying to keep a daily upload schedule it isn't odd that a lot of these commentators are going for BuzzFeed, the low-hanging fruit. Well, what makes BuzzFeed a low-hanging fruit? Well, I think it boils down to three points. Number one, they make a lot of controversial videos. Number two, their points are easy to counter. And number three, BuzzFeed is a giant corporation, so they can upload a lot of videos. Now let us go more in depth in each point. BuzzFeed is not just one channel. BuzzFeed is multiple channels and a lot of these channels upload videos almost daily or some even upload daily. And even if only a small percentage of the videos that they upload are controversial, since they make so many videos, even that small percentage can turn out to be a bunch of videos. Which videos am I talking about? Well, for example, 26 questions Asians have for white people. 36 questions women have for men. 24 questions black people have for white people. These videos get a lot of views. They get a lot of dislikes. Most importantly, a lot of people make response videos. As I mentioned before, their points are really easy to counter and this causes a lot of people to make response videos because they see an easy way to criticize what they are saying. I think there are two reasons why their videos are so easy to make responses to. The first reason is because their videos are laid out or structured in a way that they lay out one argument and then just jump to the next and they don't back up what they say, they don't show any sort of statistics to back up what they just said. So this makes it easy for a lot of people to take that one argument they made and then argue against it and look into the facts, look into statistics and then after they're done arguing against what they just said, then jump to the next point and then do the same for that point as well. This is really easy to do because you get to talk a lot more compared to what they do. They just have an argument, they don't back it up to just have an argument while you get to make a counter argument as well as talk about it and back it up. The second reason for why their videos are easy to counter is because a lot of the points that they make are overgeneralizations which are really easy to counter because you can just say that not all men are like this or not all white people are like this and that's not really a hard conclusion to come to so therefore it's really easy to just counter what they are saying. The final reason for why I think that BuzzFeed has become uh, such a hated YouTube channel or their videos have become so hated is because they upload a lot of content. They have nine YouTube channels, they have over a thousand employees and the employees are told that they should just pump out content that gets views. They are not told to keep a good image, they are not told to have a good like to dislike ratio and if you are constantly under pressure that you have to upload a lot of videos that get lots of views, it's gonna be real easy to just go for really controversial video topics that don't really require that much research. Uh, and you know, since you don't do that much research for the video and you don't do that much for it, you're gonna get a lot of dislikes but a lot of people are gonna be talking about it, a lot of people are gonna be watching the video disliking it and there's generally gonna be a lot of traction towards that video and then you know the company is happy they're okay with that. 
especially when I make videos about sensitive things such as gender and race, uh, which people, in especially in America, are really sensitive about. It's going to get a lot of people talking about it. It's going to get a lot of people riled up and looking towards the video and giving BuzzFeed lots of views, which is generally what they are looking for. All of this has made it so that lots of commentary channels look towards BuzzFeed and try to make videos about them, especially when they make controversial videos. Almost every commentary channel is making a response. This has caused a lot of people to have a bad image towards, uh, towards BuzzFeed. And if you make a video about BuzzFeed, not a lot of people are going to be mad at you because you criticize BuzzFeed. Because there are not a lot of die-hard BuzzFeed fans, especially not in the commentary community. And therefore, if you just make a video about BuzzFeed, most people are going to be happy. You're not going to upset anyone because you made a video about BuzzFeed. And since so many commentary channels are looking towards BuzzFeed to look for videos to make, though they might not make controversial videos, people might make response videos to semi-controversial videos, videos they generally don't agree with, and people are not going to be upset because you're just making fun of BuzzFeed, which is a company and YouTube channel that people don't like. This is why I think that BuzzFeed has become such a low-hanging fruit, because Everyone is just making videos about them, and they're, as I mentioned before, the points are easy to counter. They make a lot of videos, so it's not difficult to find videos to make fun of, and uh, they just pump out a load of content. And that is why I think that BuzzFeed has become a low-hanging fruit. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching and peace out.